revolution! <laughs> a crown befitting the new ruler of the universe! Your time is now over, Megatron. The reign of Starscream will be a reign of terror! Esteemed members of my armada, you now stand upon the very precipice of glory to meet the destiny which I have so tenaciously worked toward. Dynamic leadership of the Deceptor. Hey everyone, I have Blake the Treating You Oaths of Star Trek 55, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Combiner Wars the Varian. So we already got all of the Lumbots in their limb modes Skydive, Drag Strip, Butterfly, and Alpha Bravo, and Superion as a torso. So we'll start combining. So, something lost the beside, I'll start the legs first. Now I didn't show this off in my uh, my Silverbolt video on how the new combination uh, pay works. So you have these you have these notches in the sides of the uh, the combiner port or the uh, the pay itself, and then you have these notches in here, and you have this spring or this, this spring loaded panel here, and you want to push up on the spring loaded panel. To um, you want to push up on the spring-loaded panel and then just insert, just slide the notches into one another like so. So it's really easy to get out, and it's really easy to get in, and it stays in too. So we got skydive as a leg. Then I'll take Alpha Bravo and put him in like so. Looks kind of lopsided right now. I don't know why. Um, okay, I get it. I put um, Alpha. I didn't put Alpha Bravo's foot piece in far enough. It's a little bit better. Might just be the ratchets and solar bolts arms. I don't know. So you can see he's probably going to be really, really tall. So probably have to hold the camera for a distance. And then we'll start combining the arms. So well, I forgot to put these panels down, but you flip these panels down, and that reveals the same kind of mechanism up here for the arms and you insert them in in the same fashion like so, although they're harder to get in for me, I don't know why. Um, seems to be more resistance on those pegs than on uh, the legs. Alright, and then drag strip as the arm. I, there's no way I could possibly get this on camera, so I apologize, but I'll have to do this off camera. Alrighty then. There we have the Perian combined. Hey everyone, here we have uh, the Perian in his combined mode, and he's very, very nicely proportioned um, in comparison to other combiners that we've got in the past, and especially compared to Metasaur. Now here we have his head sculpt, uh, very nice head sculpt. We looked at it in the uh, Silverbolt review, but again, he does have these rotary antennae which don't go forward all the way, but it's not terrible by any means. I show off his posability, um, but that's incredibly hard to do due to how large he is. But his posability is very impressive, and he can pull off some really nice poses with this gun. So I'm going to go off camera, and then I'll show one of those off. So here we have Superior in one of his uh, in one of his poses, which I talked about, 
And he looks really, really nice, and he holds the poses really well. He has, um, the, uh, the thumbs, which you can't really see because it's all black down here. The thumbs from his hand mode serve as really good heel spurs. Um, and they can be turned and raised and lowered in different ways so that they can support different poses like this one here. Um, you can see he's holding his rifle with two hands, which even some normal Transformers can't even be bothered to do. Um, which is really impressive, and I think Hasbro did a really nice job. Um, comparison, here he is next to Fall Cyber Prime Bruticus, retail version. Or Fruticus, as the fandom of the math calls him. You can see that, granted, Superion is posed right now, but Superion is taller due to the fact that he has a Voyager, um, a Voyager limb, or a Voyager, excuse me, torso, um, whereas Bruticus just has Onslaught with the Deluxe. Um, they look cool together, though. And then here, Superion is next to a standard Deluxe figure. Like, um... Starfream from Fall Hydrogen. As you can see, the Starfream's a little bit taller than Superion's knees. Granted, uh, Superion is uh, in a stand with his legs bent at this time. So, I'm really looking forward to uh, completing Superion officially with Slingshot and Air Raid. And, um,. I think this is a really, really cool line, and I think Hasbro nailed the combiners. They're fun, they're they're easy to, to combine, and they're, he's easy to pose, and he's fun to pose, and he looks good when he's posed. Um, we're really looking forward to Menasaur. The only member I have right now is who you see before you drag strip. Um, but I hope to be getting the rest at some point soon, especially that Wild Rider. So this has been the video review for the Transformers Generations Combiner War Superion. This is the Starship Musk 5. Thank you very much for watching, and do take care. Megatron? Not Megatron. Ah, if it isn't my old pal Megatron. Megatron. Notice how much noise an insect makes buzzing and clacking until you crush it underfoot? That's what you are, Megatron. A bug with a big...